Welcome back to FNN. This is Wolf Spritzer. We are very real news. Now, last night, Donald Trump's Hollywood star was smashed with a pickaxe. An individual decided to take a pickaxe to Donald Trump's Hollywood star, pretty much destroying it to absolute rubble. But that wasn't it. The individual then decided to urinate on said star, not stopping there, then defecating on the star and playing with the rubble and his own defecation in a protest of the racist Donald Trump. Pretty shocking stuff. The hero from that event joins us now. Wow, Lefty Butlick, you are the hero that smashed Donald Trump's racist star with a pickaxe, but then you took it a step further and you decided to defecate on it as well. Talk about the courage and bravery it takes to do such a tremendous act. Well, first of all, thank you. I, I just want to say it's it's probably the proudest moment of my life. And it was divine intervention because I was looking for the Donald Trump star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Almost walked right past it, but then I slipped on something. And I realized that uh, it, I found out later that George Lopez had just been there before I was there. So I'm not the first person to piss on it. George Lopez marked his territory, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to take a, a, an axe to this, but it wasn't without injury. I had missed a couple times. I no longer have my left pinky toe, but let me tell you, it was worth it, and I'm like the most popular guy in Hollywood right now as a result of it. So you're telling me you had planned on just taking the pickaxe to it, but then learning that George Lopez had already urinated on it, you decided to one-up him and then defecate on the ruined star? Yes, and I was cheered on by a lot of people in, in the surrounding area. Everybody was around me at the time, and and they, they you know, the more I, I threatened to do it, and once I started to do it, I realized it was the right thing to do at the time. Your family and friends, how are they responding to your heroic act? Well, first of all, I no longer have a lot of my original family and friends because everyone that's a Trump supporter, I have completely cut them from my life. I've cut them off. I divorced my wife first. Now I'm hanging out with a chick with hairy armpits. And I just want to say that this has really launched my career because right now, I, let me tell you something. Since the, this has happened, I've become basically a hero in Hollywood. Robert De Niro and Tom Arnold have both, both of them have sent me thank you letters. And Anderson Cooper even sent me a dozen roses and some revealing pics of him wearing a Speedo. So I, th I think my career is really taking off. That's incredible stuff. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the resistance uh, right now while you're on air with us? I mean, you are a leader in the resistance now. What would you like to tell the resistance? Well, you guys are going to be the first to break this, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it to you right now. I have officially joined Antifa, and I've been training them for a week now. And let me, let me show you something. And they haven't taught us how to punch yet. Um, pretty soon we're going to work up to that. We're going to learn how to, how to throw blows. Right now we're doing the cat claw. And... This is just a result for some of my training and just just clawing Trump. And that's some of the, the stuff that we've been learning how to do. And the Civil War is coming, so we're, we're getting ready. Is there anything else you're training to do? I mean, that is some devastating tactics there. No, that's about it right now. Uh, we, are, we, we need to learn how to take a punch because a lot of us are, are getting our asses kicked out there. So I think that mm -hmm. we need to learn how to take a mm -hmm. punch as well. But we're willing to do it. Well, because of this, I've got big news for you. We have decided, because of your heroic act of smashing Trump's Hollywood star, and because you've decided to take a leadership role in this, yes. and uh, even lost a pinky toe, yes. we've decided to start a GoFundMe for you. And us here at FNN have already put $10,000 in your GoFundMe account so that you can continue your heroic acts of bravery and hopefully recruit others. Man, I cannot thank you guys enough. And I, I'm going to take that $10,000, and I'm personally going to put $25 of that towards the children who are separated at the border. So I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Wow. The heroic acts just continue from Lefty Butkus. For FNN, this is Wolf Spritzer. Very real news. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. Fuck you, Nazi! Not a Nazi. Fuck you, Nazi! I'm a journalist. Fuck you, you're not a journalist. Yes, Fuck I am. You. Does mommy not hug you Nobody enough? Nobody believes you're a fucking journalist. You're a fucking shithead. 
Hey, how would you like to take InfoWars with you wherever you go? Well, now you can do just that with the new official InfoWars app. And here's the best part. It is absolutely free. At the Apple Store and Google Play, you can join the InfoWar today. Check it out right now at InfoWars.com forward slash app. app.